Last night was a shit show. 4 a.m. cannot come faster right now. I feel like I'm in spa hell. I'm wondering, like, what's the longest time I can spend in the spa? If you want to stay 24 hours, you do have to come in at 4 a.m. What is it about the spa that makes you feel so good? Today, I'm on a mission to figure out the secret behind the Korean spa. Secret? The cucumber does nothing. <laughs> so it's the night before I'm going to the spa. She's got a busy day tomorrow. I mean, she's got to get up early. She's got to go to the spa at 4 a.m. Poor thing, you better get to bed. Good morning, everyone. I am so tired right now. I'm gonna eat a piece of pizza just to like wake myself up. I hope I don't really sleep in this place. I ate the whole box of pizza. Why? So I had to wake up. Oh, I was supposed to eat sauerkraut? Um, yeah. I heard the food there sucks. Maybe you meet friends. You need to live your life there. Are you yeah. coming? It's 3.37 a.m. We're heading to the spa. I really hope they have good breakfast. What does Korean breakfast even look like? I just arrived at Wee Spa and it's looking a little janky. You can see I'm stepping out. The ambiance out here is a little funky. The guy at the front desk is super sweet. I just received my t-shirt, slippers, towel, and my locker. It's actually really nice in here. It's currently 4.47 in the morning. It's gonna be a long 24 hours. What people at this hour use for sleeping are these tiny plastic pillows and these really thin mats. I have a hard time sleeping on anything that is not a mattress. Good night, everyone. I will see you when I wake up. That quite possibly was the worst sleep I've ever had. Yeah, it was stuffy nose. There's a lot of TVs behind me. I want to know why other people are choosing to sleep here. Like, these people are actually sleeping here. I came here to Wee Spa to sleep on the ground. Literally a, a tile floor. Kind of upset because, like, there were couches up here that I could have slept on. I feel like I'm staying at a hotel with no room. My alarm's just going off, and this guy took his shoes and put them over my head and clapped them like hella loud, and I just like jolted up like a spaz. <laughs> he looked at me and was like, mm. and I was like, oh, okay, like, sorry, dude. Now it's 9.30, and I'm feeling really tired. I have a headache. My body hurts. I really hope that this massage that I'm getting later today makes me feel way better about Wee Spa because right now I'm giving Wee Spa zero stars on the fun scale. So I'm here at breakfast and I purchased a cup of fruit and a marble cake and a juice. Beet, carrot, kale, and cucumber. I'm hoping this will really wake me up. So dang, I love a good juice in the morning. Guess who's feeling better and more energized? This girl. I'm really excited. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up this, and I'm gonna head into all of the different sauna rooms and see what we're working with. The first spa that I'm going into is the Ugama. Ugama is the hottest spa here. It's 215 degrees. because it is so freaking hot in here. Holy shit, I feel like I'm in an oven. I gotta get out. That was really hot. My feet were on fire. I can't go into the hot sauna right now, so we're gonna go into the jade sauna. The jade sauna is like a little bit less warm. It's about 124 degrees. I just got out of the jade spot and it felt really, 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 really good in there. I was going to be getting yelled at for filming and of course a random guest 
got mad at me. I'm now going to enter the clay spa. So there's a bunch of clay balls in here. And they're all circular and really, really warm. That's kind of gross, because like you never know who's who's laid in them and like sweated in them. You just like kind of get past that mental barrier. It's totally fine. I just got out of the clay room and it's quite possibly one of my favorite rooms. It's a lot, a lot of, of sweat coming off my body. Ooh, we're going into the ice room. I'm so <laughs> Oh, it feels so good. Oh, I love this, wow. Look at all the ice in here, it's so cool. Oh, my sweat's so cold. <laughs> Let me give you a rundown of the past two hours. I found the best place in the spa. They have a cold plunge in the women's room and it's a full nude area, so I couldn't film. So I'm sorry for all of those who are hoping. I'm really happy that I'm here. This morning was brutal. I felt like I was in spa hell, and now I feel like I'm in spa heaven. Now I'm gonna crank out some editing, and then I'm gonna get my seaweed wrap. But I'm so excited. Oh! The ice cream bar was not enough, but I did get some teriyaki, and I'm very excited to, to see how good the food is here. The presentation looks pretty decent. I got a lot of teriyaki sauce to work with. All right, friends, so I'm here at lunch, and I made a few new friends. Amira and Gracie. <laughs> and, uh, Amira has some things to say to the camera. I'm not sure what, but uh, it's her birthday. Let's hear it. Birthday girl. Shout out to your YouTube channel. <laughs> it is now 4.40 and I have to go sit in the spa to soak my skin so I can get wrapped in seaweed. Hopefully I'm allowed to film this. I have no idea. I am not supposed to be vlogging in here right now, but let me tell you, I just got done with the full body scrub and she literally scraped skin off of me. I think I was in there for two hours. We were butt ass naked and then I was like rubbed down. My friend Sydney Olsen, parkour legend, she just showed up. Now I'm not alone at the spa. I decided I was gonna hang out with Brooke for a few hours because <laughs> I know it can be a lonely time at the spa. Sydney, you've been here before. Mm -hmm. Why'd you come here last time? Well, here. I've been here a few times actually. Like a friend originally showed it to me and then I, I used to come quite a lot. Really? Actually, yeah. And I liked going in the hot tub and the cold tub and all that. Yeah. Really naked. It's awesome. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> and it's like really empowering as a woman to be in there and you're just like, yeah. I literally smell like fish. My right. whole body. Do you smell it? A little bit. Because <laughs> it was the seaweed wrap that I got. Oh, yeah. And I literally just smell sense. like a giant ball of fish. Like the bed's in the massage place. Like it's kind of tipped so all the water runs off of it. But like the naked woman car wash. You walk in and everyone's freaking legs are out. Looked like I was supposed to be in Bezos's like wiener rocket. Like literally looked alien. I was like covered in this like brown mud. Yeah. And then like I wrapped mean, in this it. like <laughs> this like tin foil. <laughs> it's staying on this time. It's staying. You're, you're an anomaly. Eat it. What do you do? Do you go pee and then yeah. drink? that's a uh, black beans, black sesame, and soy milk. This thing actually means because it tastes like asshole. I don't want to stand though. Asshole. So obviously I'm breaking out now because I'm freaking went in the saunas after a facial. Sydney's leaving me now and Brandon might show up in a little bit. So thank you for coming. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate you. So the time is now 11.30 and we're getting down to the end of my 24 hour spa day. Yeah, I really messed up my skin, you guys. But now Brandon is here and he's gonna hang out because he's my ride home, so. Brandon's really enjoying himself. I feel like my mood is gonna get hotter. <laughs> I also feel like if I open my eyes, it's gonna sting. <laughs> so I just, See you at 4 a.m. Almost 24 hours, and I've been in and out of the rooms at least three times today. I, I'm surprised that when I go in the hot rooms, I'm still sweating. Uh, <laughs> I want to go home. I really like being naked, I have learned. 
the nude part of the spa is really uplifting. It's very empowering. It instills a, a type of confidence in yourself that you never thought you had. Um, and I was reminded of that today, and I really liked that. The one good thing that I am finding out of this is the amount of confidence that comes out of self-care and how beautiful it is when you take time to really relax and give yourself the opportunity to appreciate your body. This will be my fourth shirt today. I don't recommend staying as well. So it's uh, 1.19 in the morning and I have a few hours left and I do I've never showered so much in my life. I took another shower because I felt so dry. Honestly, there's been a few people here that are have been here like since I've been here, but before that, like there, people spend days here. There's a bunch of people like snoring and sleeping. We missed our shot to get a good couch to lay on. I'm starting to really feel tired, but since that guy left, I'm gonna snag that chair really quick. We're gonna, we're gonna flip these bad boys. They're freaking screwed to the ground. I've moved over to this spot and these people, one of them just ripped ass so hard. We now have to sleep here for a few hours. I have my chauffeur here. So right as I was finishing that last vlog, guess what? Four people left and we got a big spot on the couch. I've been here for two hours and I already want to leave. I'm leaving worse than I came in. You guys, the time is 3.43 right now. Brim's obviously asleep. This music is not royalty free and I want to go home. The time right now is 3.48 a.m. and I want to get the hell out of Weezwa. Brandon, did you just fart? Holy moly. Hey man. I don't know how people stay here. For 24 hours? For 24 hours. Mind you sometimes. Holy shit. It's 4.02 a.m. and I've officially made it 24 hours in Los Angeles' 24-hour spa and I am never doing that again.